Here I have uh, a, sub a subwoofer that's not working here. It's a Polk audio powered subwoofer here. So let's just plug it in, have a look. And we'll put in some audio. And this is, me, um, measures 12 volts. This is an output and an output signal. Simple question. You don't need to get smart with me. You can at least save me some breakfast. Well, I never know when you're coming up or going out. Do these things. Now, what is the problem? Did I offend you by walking? One of the things that it, I did was I removed these capacitors and tested them out. Um, my tester here. After some analysis, there are two caps that you probably want to replace, and it's these two caps right here. They're both they're 47 microfarad 63 volts. And when I put them in my tester here, let's turn this on. You can see when we're testing, these old capacitors were bad. You can see I'm getting an ESR value of 0.1 K ohm, and you want to get 0.1 to 0.01 ohm. So that is definitely a bad capacitor. There were two of those there. So 
after after replacing those two caps I put it all together and then we can hitch it back up and then test it out. Here it's it's working there and you can hear when I do the volume it's not crackly at all. It's So I hope that your subwoofer is now fixed and uh, that you can go back and listen to some music. Now I do have lots of repair videos and if you're interested in electronics you can consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Have a Merry Christmas.